have been waiting for months for really good and affordable laptop from Asus and it finally looks like the Asus X515 have the right price for the specs. As an all-around full-size laptop for anybody who needs faster multitasking, the Asus is almost unbeatable with its design and specs. In this review I perform a hands-on evaluation of the 15-inch version. It follows on the footsteps of the Asus that launched one year ago. This leads us to think that it doesn't have much new besides improved screen and battery, but actually there are some significant differences inside. It now has a faster processor, memory and more efficient cooling. It ticks important boxes, but the real question here is how it will perform on the bad trip. Now it's the right time to open this incredible eco-friendly laptop box. We can see its box contains usual stuff like charger, laptop and manual instructions. It would be interesting if we could find a mystery box in one of those boxes. The chassis and the lick looks sleek and feels like it's made from metal although there are still some plastic parts, if you look closely. Clean and smooth metallic texture lines look awesome. Asus does offer it in many colors, black or silver is the best. Let's open the lid. It has nice narrow bezels around the main display, with the top one housing a web camera with no privacy shutter, and there is some minimum flex if you grab the screen corners or press the cable deck and feel somewhat sturdier and more classy to the touch. The keyboard is comfortable for the longer typing and the buttons are quality built, fitting chassis perfectly. The touchpad has enough space for lazy multi-touchers and felt alright during my clicking around when browsing. Maybe it could have more smooth to the touch, otherwise it feels well built and clicks responsive. In general, it offers a fairly accurate tracking. Below the laptop you will see the speakers in the corners, as well as the ventilation grille. It goes out of device through two vents on the back and on the side. As I would expect these days, it has six ports. The left side has power, two USB and one HDMI port. You also have two USB and audio on the right side. Inside is the latest Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and I had no problem setting up everything. But if you wonder if you can charge a laptop via USB-C, you will still need a 60 watts charger. The 15.6 inch screen is sharp and colorful, thanks to the Full HD technology, it does a good job of displaying videos, web pages and documents. In terms of brightness levels, it's comparable with many similarly priced laptops. The basic version has anti-glare display with more than 220 nits of max brightness, which is fine for use in room, but it's not the best if you like to work a lot of under direct sun. While colors look fine if you mostly use laptop for reading or watching videos, if you plan to edit picture or video, it's worth to mentioning that the screen has less than 60% of color coverage, so if you want better colors, go with IPS screen version. Asus makes a highly effective cooling design which uses only one fan to deliver the satisfying amount of cooling. While still remaining quiet to boot, though it can get louder with more demanding tasks or apps. The configuration I reviewed here is quite fast and benchmark wise it does quite step up to the other identically priced laptops. As for CPU in here, the Intel i5 processor configuration has more than enough power, it even managed to match the Ryzen 5 in some tests. For an affordable mainstream laptop designed for work and play, the Intel's processor and SSD drive in ASUS perform smoothly and without excessive heat of noise. I can commend the WAN's design, so keyboard and touchpad were also officially cooled. 
with some tabs open in a web browser, one with your streaming video, an office in the background, scrolling and switching between apps work fast and without any hitchups. The built-in graphics has good support for essential Windows apps. You can even play some games like League of Legends at high settings or Fortnite, but you are going to have to tweak some settings if you want to play it smoothly. I do not give second chances. The Asus come with 37 watts battery, what that means you will see little above average battery life, this also depends on processor type. On the battery test which involves continuous surfing the web over Wi-Fi, the battery lasted at the end of day more than 4 hours, but it should last up to 6 and more if you lower the screen brightness and tweak some settings. Charging from empty to full or ever it's average, right 2 hours. The two speakers are placed below the keyboard, facing toward the rear like most other laptops. They are quite loud considering the size of the device, so 3W rating can shock you with deep bass. Mid-range and high sounds are, on the other hand, quite good. I think it would be ok for watching daily videos, but if you like music with a lot of bass, or if you like movies uh, with the big explosions, it's a good idea to connect Bluetooth speaker. The Asus X550 is certainly well a quick laptop, easily able to keep you working on bigger office projects or playing some popular online games. Thanks to its convincing performance and classic in design, it will rival easily the best in its class. The keyboard and touchpad are all above average and easy to use. While screen is decent, just make sure that you have IPS in the specs if you want the best colors. It isn't cheap, but if you want just the right amount of quality and power in the laptop, I believe it will be a winner for many users out there. Thank you for watching and see you soon!